Hello, Woody. I just wanted to show you your uh, your, um, your 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 Capri. <laughs> there, the words finally came out. Uh, and we've got, as you can see, we've got it pretty well stripped. Uh, we're doing some wood repairs right here. You see Tony uh, doing some refastening. The uh, when we would push the planks in, they would not move together. And of course, that means that seam will be moving. After we put nine coats of varnish on it, that seam would also be moving. And uh, so we don't want that to happen. Uh, so the, uh, and that's a minimum nine coats. Actually, they, they come out of here with 11. Uh, but uh, so anyhow, um, so he's pulling out the bungs, tightening the screws, and making sure that we draw the planks together. Otherwise, when we sand them, if one was proud of the other, and we sand it and then draw the planks together with the screws, then uh, they would be mismatched in height. So we're finding that they're fairly even, at least on this side, which will make what we call fairing them out. They are fair to one another, but the fact that those are, they're fairly even will make it easy to fair out or easier than it could potentially be to fair out. So we see that refastening going on here. Uh, especially in long areas between the frames. And uh, and I think I also detected a wood repair or two right here where there was some damage. So we're using the same species of wood, Philippine mahogany, which is not really a species. That was a trade name, uh, but we're using the same species as Morandi. Uh, that is the species we're using that. And uh, we are, uh, interestingly, there had been in a previous restoration, there had been um, some rot along this edge, apparently, and this has been splined in a previous restoration. Did you notice that? That's what? That spline right there. Yeah, it did. Uh -huh. I think it's done on purpose. I think on, the... Yeah, because... In a previous restoration, I believe. Like, on the, on the other side, too, it's kind of curved in like that as well. Yeah, okay. So I don't know if that's a design choice or... Hmm. Or if uh, it needs to be. Um, oh, they explained there. No, I think they, I think they did it in a previous restoration. I'd say. Yeah, maybe just kind yeah. of matched it on this side at the same as the Probably, other. Probably, yeah. Had the same problem on both sides, perhaps. Okay, cool. So anyway, uh, uh, also uh, Woody, on your engine, we have your engine. Uh, of course, we did a good, had a good compression test. Um, we have painted your engine. Um, we have the the alternator out for um, out for rebuild, and the starter maybe yep it's it's rebuilt and back on. Uh, the uh, we had to buy a new distributor. We can't even determine what distributor this is, and by the time we by the time we determine it, um, it had a electronic ignition of sorts in it but by the time we get these clips get the right determine the distributor get the right uh unit and on all that work we uh just decided to go ahead and get a new distributor um we have uh a new coupling coming for your transmission as well it was um uh, highly modified with a grinder uh we have a new um uh, i think it might already be here but we have a new uh, thermostat housing uh, uh, coming. We uh, also have uh, a rebuild kit coming for your um, for your uh, uh, carburetor. That's your flame rester for your carburetor sitting on there. Um, we did do a pressure test on your exhaust manifolds, and they seem to be okay. So we got water out of uh, from around this shaft. We got milkshake water from around this. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up right here, open the inspection plate up and see what's actually down in the, in the oil pan, whether there's water in the oil pan or not. If there is water, we're going to have to continue to look for where it's coming from. Uh, it can come from uh, a leaky, a faulty intake manifold gasket. It goes right into the oil gallery from there. And it also could be if this thing ever froze and broke, which we don't have any indication that it did freeze and break. Other than the fact that you don't have original, original original manifolds on there, I guess that would be an indicator that maybe something froze and broke. Um, but the uh, inside the lifter galley, if we have a cracked block in there, water goes straight into the well from there. 
So we still haven't, oh, we have, still haven't solved that problem. Here is, uh, here's your old thermostat housing plate. And as you can see, most of that was corroded away. So that's the reason we got you a new plate for right here. All right, let's see. So boat, engine, uh, fuel tank may be made, I'm not sure, but uh, it's certainly not in yet. But uh, uh, also we've purchased you a new uh, fuel pump and fuel filter. So, uh, and when we put in the new tank, we'll be, it'll be all new fuel lines, fuel pump, fuel filter, everything. All right, good to talk to you, Woody. Uh, call if you have any questions. So thank you for the payment the other day too.